Hey guys, how you doing? Just standing here for like the first time in like six weeks. So anyway, um, I'm ready to kick it up a notch. We got some great videos coming. We're gonna do another another battle of the pellets on the pellet smoker. We're gonna be doing today. We're doing a Dollar Tree chili. Uh, I got two playing with your food episodes coming. I've got it right over there. You're gonna have a lot of fun coming up on this show. But first, let's run down this whole thing. This was one of your guys' ideas. We were on the live show talking. Somebody said, hey, you remember when you did that, you did that, um, what was it, a Dollar Tree Thanksgiving? And, oh no, Dollar General Thanksgiving, not Dollar Tree. It was a Dollar General Thanksgiving, and I did a whole spread for under $50 to feed the whole family. Well, guess what? Um, we decided, uh, the guy who was talking to me said, do a Dollar Tree chili. It's almost fall. It's... It's chili time, it's comfort food time, it's pumpkin time, it's everything that you love, except football. But anyway, um, but it's all here, and I'm going to show you really quick. Everything here was $1 each. Boom, 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 boom. So we're going to add it all up and tell you how much this chili costs. We're going to cook it, and then we're going to try it out. All right? All right, guys. Okay, guys, so... One of the hardest things was finding meat. You ever try and find meat at Dollar Tree? It, they just don't have a meat department. It's not like they got hey, deli, I need you to give me some meat. But we went through the freezer section. We found these beef patties. So we're using the beef patties. We're going to uh, defrost them and then put them into the chili. Okay. And then we got our stir fried kind of vegetables that we're going to put into the chili. We've got our, our beans. It's kidney, black bean, and pinto beans. We've got our, uh, our what, tomato sauce. Um, did we do anything else with the tomatoes? Let me see. Uh, yeah, we got uh, garlic crushed red peppers in here. So we're pretty excited. Got some tomato juice, got some shredded cheese for on top. The only thing we didn't get at Dollar Tree was all our seasoning, but I'll show you that later as we're putting it all together, okay? But they do have all the seasoning at Dollar Tree but you should probably have most of this stuff already on hand. So this is what it's gonna to cost to make Dollar Tree chili. So let's count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That means this chili is a $12 chili if you add it up, all you mathematicians, all right? Because everything was $1 each. So let's put it all together, let's taste it, and hopefully I don't get sick off this, but I expect it to come out good. All right, so let me uh, run down what we're doing here. So this plate right here has the frozen vegetables. We've ripped little holes in the bag. We're gonna microwave it to just defrost it and cook a little bit, partially kind of par cook them. Then we're throwing them in the, in the uh, Ninja Foodie. And then these patties are frozen. So we're gonna nuke these on defrost, get them a little soft, chop them up. Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna just fry them in a pan. I'm gonna fully cook the meat. I don't want any raw meat going into my chili. So I'm pre-cooking these patties and I'm pre-cooking the vegetables. Then we'll combine everything. There we go. Okay, now we got the vegetables up in the microwave above me. As you can hear, that's running. Now it's time to do the meat. I'm gonna brown all the meat in a little oil. So let's get that started. Make sure you got a flame. Yep, got a flame. So we're gonna be using the best gourmet seasoning over taste on the burgers. It's an all-purpose seasoning. First we get the burgers in. Oh no, we gotta season them first and then get them in. That's it. Now remember, you season the patty first and then put it seasoning side down, like that. This way you can season the other side before it cooks. So all your patties have seasoning on them. Seasoning side down. There we go. Then you can come back and hit it with seasoning. Okay, best part of this is dumping everything into your Instant Pot or your Ninja Foodie, either one, whoever kind of like PC or Mac. Everybody has their favorite. There you go. All the meat's in. Let me grab the vegetables. We're going to 
to put the vegetables in now. We took those whole tomatoes, we got them a little pulsed, so they're little bits of tomatoes. Here's the other can, a little bit chunkier. Black beans. Pinto beans. Oh, this gonna be a nice amount. Kitty beans. Plenty of meat and plenty of beans. You gotta love that. And your tomato juice. So don't ever add water to bring the level up. Use something with flavor like chicken broth or beef broth. Okay. So I just grabbed a few spices from my spice cabinet. You can put any blend you want in. Doing some onion. Some garlic. Love me some garlic. Some Italian seasonings, a little smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, a little cumin, a little extra cumin. <laughs> I love that. All right, now we can give it a mix. Get those spices incorporated. Wow, this looks pretty decent. Now you guys know you need one of these gloves or any kind of uh, a mitt for the oven so that when you open the valve and the steam comes out, you don't burn your hand, okay? Step back away from the valve and open the valve. And just wait till it's all let out. Now you guys know every video I remind you about the glove. The other thing I always remind you about is when you open this lid, liquid's gonna be in the lid. So tip it back into the, the chili, okay? And then you can mix it back in. You ready? So let's get it open and take a look. There's all the water that drips off the lid. Wow, that looks really good. Is that hot? You got it? Okay guys, oh my goodness, this smells amazing. Looks a little soupy, so we're gonna let it thicken up. I figure overnight in the fridge, it's really gonna solidify. That's the best time. Day old chili is even better than brand new chili. Look at that. It's amazing. All right guys, got the chili in the bowl right there. Now here's the part that's a little nerve wracking. All right, we're gonna put <laughs> Dollar Tree Chili. I, Tammy's all cracking up. I'm going to put it on. I have no idea whether this is even going to melt or not. Or maybe turn toxic. There we go. Okay, I got to show you guys. Is this really going to melt? Let's mix it in. It's not melting. It's some hot chili too. I don't see any any streaming cheese or anything. Okay, that's that's not cool. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Here we go. It's piping hot. It's hot. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Then wait. Shut up. Oh my god. Hold on. No. Can't taste it if your tongue's burnt, bro. I'll just put less in the spoon so it cools faster. But I don't want to drop the meat. Oh, it's a whole science project. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I'm going to be totally honest with you. It's not the best chili. It's got a little bit of an aftertaste. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's that cheese I put in there. I'm not putting that cheese in again. It didn't even melt. That just scares me. Okay, so this was a fun experiment. Don't ever do this. I'm warning you, don't do this. It's not the best chili I've ever made. Go find one of the chili recipes, all right? I love you guys. I'm always honest with you. And I'll see you on the next episode.